I'm Mike Lombardo. I want to talk to you a little bit about the home selling and buying process. You know, a lot of people want to believe that it is a very simple and easy process to do. And, and if you deal with a real real estate professional, it can be. I promise you, it can be. Um, you know, but a lot of people think of it as a, like a simple checklist. You know, there's three kinds of checklists. There's the simple, the complicated, and the complex. Um, the simple being like a recipe. You know, you, you X, Y, Z, you end up cooking it for so long, and you end up with brownies, delicious brownies. Um, that's simple checklist. You have something more complicated. It looks like a flow chart. If this, then that. If this, then that. Um, and it can be very intricate. It'd be 50, 60 points, and it could be, um, you know, a variety of, of different things that, that go with it. Um, they have something complex, and that'll be like child rearing. <laughs> it's very complex. Um, sometimes real estate transactions are very simple, straightforward. Um, easy to do. Um, sometimes they're just, you know, very simple recipe like, and those can happen. Um, but most of the time they're somewhere between complicated and complex. There's a lot of different facets and variables that go into it. And, you know, we have to not be an expert in every area, but we have to know who the experts are in a given area. And then we have to be able to um, interface with those people in a way that is respectful to them and also understands the content enough that we can be interdependent with them with how we operate. Um, and all that together, if we, if we do it in a very good way, what you end up with is a variety of, of ways that that stuff can come down. So, you know, let's say an appraisal comes back too high or too low, um, there's a variety of ways that we can interface with the mortgage people and ultimately the appraisal people to ask them to reconsider their opinion. And how you do that is, you know, a very important to make sure that the process goes forward because you could have done all the 80 steps that were correct up until that point, but if you can't figure out how to cooperate and become interdependent with the various other experts that are involved in the case, the, the thing won't move forward and you have to restart over and Unless you have those skills to be able to move past the complicated or the complex, the only way you're going to get a closing is through something simple. Um, and so that's why experience does matter. You know, somebody like me that, that closes a lot of properties every year, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of different scenarios. I've worked with a lot of different ways. And, you know, I'm, I'm humble enough to listen to other people's opinions so that I can integrate those things together with those other people and try to make the closing happen. And at the same time, you know, help my client feel the, not feel the stress of it, but educate them and articulate what those, what those facets are so that I'm educating them about it, informing them about it so that as there's decisions to be made that affect them, I can help them understand why I select this but also give them the option of selecting something else if they want. And so, you know, I'm committed to the process of helping people move forward through the transaction and doing it in a way that makes them feel good, makes them feel respected, which is very important to us here, and also be effective, make sure that we, we get it done in a way that, that you know, our clients feel good about. Thank you for watching.